today's video is going to be a wine tasting. Day of Christmas, my baby gave to me a pair of Chloe shades and a diamond. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am Brianna. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting from people all across social media for my wine channel. Um, this was a huge step of faith for me, so I really appreciate everyone tuning in consistently. Uh, and I'm super excited for what I have for you today. Today's video is going to be a wine tasting. I feel like I haven't done a wine tasting like since like the first video. I mean, I know I'm like three videos in, but I haven't done a wine tasting in a while. So today I wanted to bring it back. We are going to be tasting one of the most popular wine brands um, that I've been hearing about. I've had everyone from co-workers, friends, family talking about this particular wine that we're going to taste today. I've always been curious about it. I just never tried it. And if I must admit, I haven't tried it for a particular reason um, because this wine is a sweet wine. Now, let me stop here and say that I have nothing against sweet wines. But like I said, my whole goal of the channel was to educate my viewers, educate you guys on, you know, something past what you already know. So I've been hesitant to even try this wine or even, let, even do a wine tasting with you all. But I was like, a lot of people drink this wine. I know a lot of people have been curious to try this wine. So who am I to get in the way of like giving you my opinion on it and my review on it just because I don't like sweet wine? That's not fair. So I did want to try this wine today. Um, I know a lot of people are curious about this wine. Um, I, I see it everywhere. People raving about it on Facebook. I'm on Facebook a lot. God, do not follow me on Facebook because I be posting everything. But a lot of people rave about this wine. So we're going to get right into it. Today's wine. Sorry, let me take this off. Today's wine is going to be Stella Rosa. Today's wine is going to be Stella Rosa. It is a sweet red wine from the region of Italy. Um, like I said, I've been very curious about this wine. Um, mainly in part because I don't really know what a sweet red wine is. Uh, I know typically like you get like your red Moscatos or maybe like your sweet reds from like Sutter Home. I've tried those and they're pretty yummy. They're very yummy. But I never understood like what grape makes these wines. Um, I know for Moscatos, they probably usually use a Moscato grape, and then they'll probably put some color in it to make it red, so that way, you know, it has that more of a, that, that kind of appeal, but I never really understood where these types of wines come from, and usually these types of wine, especially in the wine world, they're associated with added sugars. And adding sugars to wine is called chapterization. It's kind of seen as a bad thing. Everyone does it, let's be honest, every winemaker, not every winemaker, but a lot of winemakers add sugars to their wine. It's looked down upon. Um, you can almost think it as manipulating the wine. When wine is more of a natural thing, you want wine to taste how it's gonna taste. You want it to taste like fermented grapes. So when people are adding sugars in it, they're kind of boost, they're trying to boost the alcohol level or boost the sweetness just to kind of get it to sell. They're not really worried about quality. And that's why sometimes sweet red wines or sweet wines in general get a really bad rep. So that's why I've always been kind of hesitant to try this wine in particular. Um, and just sweet wines in general, you, you know, sometimes in a wine world we don't take it as serious. I don't have an Italian accent, obviously, so I'm going to have a lot of trouble with this. Um, it is from Italy, so that gets cool points for me. I, Italian wines get a lot of cool points. The alcohol percentage is 5.5%. 5.5%. That is crazy. I have never had a red wine that was 5%. Typically, red wines are like 11 to 13%. So that kind of threw me off. But I kind of understand why the producers make it such low alcohol content. This is a wine that's maybe meant for sipping. You know, if you're not trying to get smashed on a Wednesday night like me, um, you might want to drink this wine. You might want to try it. So the wine did apparently win an award, if you see on the sill here. It did apparently win an award somewhere in the wine world. Um, it got 90 points out of 100. It was a gold medal winner from the World Wine Championship. So that's really cool. It's good to know that this wine has been rated. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Now, um, I did a tutorial um, last week on how to use one of these, how to use a wine opener. 
Um, if you haven't had the chance, go check out the video. Um, I will be using a wine opener, obviously, for all of my videos. Um, moving on to better things. So we're going to go ahead and open up the bottle. So it says that it's partially fermented musk grape. So musk grape is what's left over um, after the grape, after after you like pick the grapes and you sort it, you put it in the fermenting tapes. And once you're crushing the grapes, you want to get all that juice out. Obviously, they crush the grapes. What's left after you crush it is a thing called musk. So must is basically yeasted grape juice. You see, it looks like <laughs> it looks like communion wine. <laughs> that's it, that's exactly what this looks like. This looks like communion wine. You guys ever did communion at church and you had to um, eat a little piece of bread and had to get some of the grape, the Welch's grape juice. That's what this looks like. It looks like it's sparkling too. I think the wine is sparkling. So it's a nice garnet color. With a bit of a sparkling fizz around the outside. It's opaque, meaning I can't see right through it. It's not as like clear, it's opaque. Let's give it on the nose. A lot of strawberry. A lot of berries. Yes. It smells like strawberry well oh shit. It smells like strawberry Welch's, like strawberry Welch grape juice. Hey, I don't know if Welch's has like a strawberry like flavor, I don't know. But that's what it smells like. Like the strawberry jelly from Popeyes, that's what it smells like. Let's try it. Now we're gonna taste it. It is, it's slightly sparkling. So expect a little sparkle, a little fizz. And that's probably because it had to ferment it all the way. Because it's only partially fermented, um, it's low alcohol, so all that sugar didn't convert into alcohol, which is why it's so low alcohol and why it's so high in sugar, and then also possibly why it's still fizzing. It's delicious. Tastes like grape juice. So a lot of strawberry, a lot of plump, fresh, sweet strawberry, a lot of raspberry, but only like sweeter raspberry, not like the, the really overripe kind, overripe raspberries, a little cherry, like maraschino cherry, like a type of cherry you put on top of a sundae. You get any blue or black fruits, like no blackberries, no blueberries. It's just, this is strictly like strawberry, raspberry, cherry, that kind of thing. Like jam. That's what it tastes like. It tastes and smells like strawberry jam. Very light. Very, very, very light. This wine is not going to get you drunk. If you get drunk off of this wine, you are a lightweight. And you don't need to be drinking. Very fun to drink. So my overall impression. I think it's a good wine. I think it's absolutely delicious. I think it tastes like strawberry grape juice. Um, I don't know if that's a thing. Strawberry grape juice. It is slightly sparkling, so I do expect a little like fizz in there, which is cool, which is very fun. Um, would I drink this wine on a regular basis? Probably not. And not because of sweet red wine. I would not drink this wine on a regular basis because it's kind of expensive for what it is. I think I purchased the bottle for like 11 bucks. I've seen places, and that was the cheapest I can find. I've seen places sell this wine for 17 bucks. $15, $13, and for it to be sparkling grape juice with maybe a little bit of alcohol, that's a lot of money. You know, Welch's is 
it's not that expensive. Roaches ain't seventeen dollars. That's why I understand it. Um, but I think so. That's probably why I wouldn't purchase it again. I would if I did purchase this one. I would use it as a sangria. I think this would be a great base for a sangria. I can picture this wine with a lot of fruit in it, with maybe some brandy in it. If you want to do something warmer for the holiday season, uh, and Merry Christmas, by the way. If you want to do something warmer for the holiday season, maybe put it in your crock pot or your slow cooker. With some brandy, some orange slices, cinnamon gloves. I think that will work very well. Uh, I think it's a good wine, very delicious. They do have other brands. They have a Stella Rose Black. Not really sure what that is. And they have a Stella Rose Moscato. I see something with, like with peach in it. So they have a lot of different things to try. If you're looking for something that's really fruity and really easy, um, this would be a good this would be a good choice. So as we move into the new year, I want to thank you guys for joining. Today is actually Christmas, so I'm not actually shooting this video on Christmas. Um, so I did want to say to you and your family and you and your friends, whoever is watching, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, as we are moving into the new year, I do want to keep you guys excited and keep you guys updated. I have so much going on, so much planned for this channel, uh, for these wines. So just stay tuned. Follow me on social media. I'll post my information below. Definitely, 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 definitely make sure you like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, comment. I want to hear what you guys are thinking. I want to hear what you guys are saying. Let me know. DM me if you have questions. I'll post my email below as well. Um, and thank you all for joining me. It's a nice cold day here in D.C. It ain't snowing yet. I would have loved to have a white Christmas. Um, but I am content and I want to thank you guys for joining uh, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year.